In this video, we're finishing the literal equations worksheet. So this is the third video, so if you missed the first two, skip back a few videos and start with those. And since we're finishing out, we're doing numbers 21 through 30. We're solving for x. So number 21, we're going to start by multiplying both sides by x because we don't want x in the denominator. When we do that, we'll have xg equal to x minus c since the x's will cancel out. x divided by x is 1. Now I'm going to move the x to the other side. So I'll have xg minus x equal to a negative c. Now we can do the opposite or the reverse of the distribution and pull out an x from both the xg and x term. When I do that, I'll have x times g minus 1 equals negative c. The last thing to do now is to divide by g minus 1 in order to isolate that x. Doing so, we'll get that x is equal to negative c all over g minus 1. And that's the answer for number 21. And number 22, again, we're solving for x, and we're going to start by putting both terms with x in them on the same side of the equation. So I'm going to move them both to the left. So we'll have xm minus x equals c. Now we're going to pull out an x from each of those terms. So we'll be left with x times the quantity m minus 1. And that's going to be equal to z. So you can see that if we were to redistribute that x, it would be xm minus x. Now we have to divide by m minus 1 on both sides to get that x is equal to z all over m minus 1 as the solution for number 22. In number 23, we have u plus k times a equals b times a. I'm going to start by subtracting k a from both sides so that my terms with a are on the same side of the equation. I'll have u plus 0, which is u, and that's equal to b a minus k a. I'm going to take out an a from b a and k a. So I'll have u equals a times b minus k. So if I was to redistribute that, you can see that it would be b a minus k a. So now I can divide by that whole quantity b minus k. So u over b minus k equals a. However, I'm going to put the variable that we're solving for on the left side, just like we've been doing in all the previous problems, which is an easy step. We're just going to flip the equation. So it's going to be a equals u all over b minus k. And the way it's written on your worksheet, they have it a equals negative u all over a negative b minus k, which is a equals negative u all over negative b plus k, or you can say a is equal to negative u over k minus b. Although this first equation is perfectly acceptable, I was just showing you how they got to the equation on the answer sheet so that you're aware that those terms are equivalent. In number 24, we're solving for x. Thankfully, both terms with x are already on the same side of the equation, so we can go ahead and pull it out. That'll be x times k plus y is equal to the u. Then we'll divide both sides by k plus y to get u over k plus y equals x. Now I'm going to flip the equation to get x on the left-hand side like we've been doing in all the other equations. So x will be equal to u all over k plus y. And again, on the answer key, they added a negative over a negative. So this will be x equals negative u over negative k plus y. Since the negative over negative is the same as a positive over a positive. And then they distributed the negative below. So they said x equals negative u all over negative k minus y y. So for number 24, it's simpler just to have x equal to u over k plus y. If you were looking at the answer sheet thinking you got it wrong, it was because they added unnecessary negatives, 
which happens sometimes when you have a computer software evaluating a problem. So just keep it simple. You don't need to add anything that's unnecessary. Let's move on to number 25. We have u equals 3b minus 2a plus 2, and we're solving for a. I'm going to move the a to the other side, so 2a is going to be added to both sides of the equation to get 2a plus u equals 3b plus 2, and I'm going to subtract u from both sides to get that 2a is equal to 3b plus 2 minus u. My next step will be to divide everything by 2. That'll leave me with a on the left hand side since the 2's will cancel out, and that will equal 3b plus 2 minus u all over 2. Number 26. Again, we're solving for a, so I'm going to move the a to the left hand side. We'll have negative 9a plus z equal to negative 9 minus 3b. Going to subtract z from both sides to get that negative 9a equals negative 9 minus 3b minus c. Then I'm going to divide by a negative 9 to isolate the a. When I divide by a negative 9, a negative divided by a negative, remember, is positive, and all three terms in the numerator are negative, so we can rewrite them as a positive 9 plus 3b plus z all over a positive 9. So a equals 9 plus 3b plus z over 9. And number 27, we're solving for a. Immediately, we can pull a out of both the terms on the right-hand side. So a gets multiplied to 4c, and it also got multiplied by the 3b. Then all we have to do is divide by 4c minus 3b. So g all over 4c minus 3b equals a. Flipping the equation around so that a is on the left-hand side, we'll get a equals g all over 4c minus 3b. And that's the answer for number 27. Again, on the answer key, they changed it around and took the opposite of both the numerator and the denominator since a negative over a negative is a positive. So their answer on the answer key is A equals negative G all over, distributing that negative, negative 4C plus 3B. And they rewrote that bottom. But again, it's not necessary. So you can just say that a is equal to g over 4c minus 3b. And number 28, we're solving for a. So I'm going to start by adding 3 to both sides to isolate the term with the a. So we'll have negative 3a equals negative 2n plus 3p plus 3. Then I'm going to divide by a negative 3. But I don't want that negative in the denominator. So I'm going to distribute it out among the terms in the numerator. So I'll get that a positive 2n plus a negative 3p plus a negative 3 all over 3 is equal to a. And remember, the order of addition, again, doesn't matter. So if you wanted to, you could say negative 3 plus 2n minus 3p all over 3. Number 29, we're solving for x. So all we have to do is divide by 4. When we divide by 4, we'll get x equal to negative 4r plus 2d all over 4. However, this can be simplified down since 2 goes into each of these evenly. So 2 goes into negative 4, negative 2 times. 2 goes into 2d once, so that'll be left with d, and 2 goes into 4 two times. So our final answer is x equals negative 2r plus d all over 2. And lastly, number 30. We're solving for a, so we're going to start by multiplying by ka. Whatever we do to the right, we have to do to the left. 
So we'll have Ka times u equal to negative 2a minus 3. Then I'm going to add 2a to both sides. So we'll have 2a plus kau, so k times a times u, equals a negative 3. Now I can take an a out of both of these terms and say a times 2 plus ku equals a negative 3. Then all I have to do is divide by a 2 plus ku. That'll leave me with a equal to negative 3 all over 2 plus ku. And again, order doesn't matter for addition, so you could also say negative 3 over ku plus 2 or negative 3 over u times k plus 2. And that wraps up our literal equations worksheet. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and post below if you have any comments.